Twisted X is a leader in sustainability within the cowboy boot industry and is always exploring new ways to upcycle materials for their boots. They take those values to the next level with their new Tech X line and I get the chance today to see what they're like. Plus, if you're watching this video within the first couple of weeks of it being posted, you have a chance to win a brand new pair in your size. Let's get into it. I'm just here to connect ya And then I'll be on my way Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig. Thank you so much for coming back to the channel today. If this is your first time here, please subscribe. I'm really excited to try out these new Tech X boots from Twisted X. It's a really modern style cowboy boot that uses a lot of, you know, eco-friendly techniques in the build. So it's going to be really interesting for me to try this out since Twisted X does a lot of that and I haven't really tried Twisted X for an extended period of time. This will be the first video. But before we go any further, I would also like to say that this video is sponsored by Twisted X along with the giveaway. It is in my contract with them, however, to come at this very open-minded and have an honest review. Huge thanks to Twisted X for supporting the channel and supplying an extra pair of boots for this giveaway. Now, without any further ado, let's break down the details of this Twisted X Tech X boot with the run. All right, this is Twisted X Tech X model number MXW0005, and they have around six different styles in this line of Tech X, featuring lots of different colors. But this one features a gray foot and a red top. The leather that they're making this boot with is very different. It's Twisted X's Leather Twix, spelled leather T-W-X, but pronounced leather Twix, and that's all over that's the foot counter and the shaft and it's made from 80 percent recycled pre-consumer cowhide leather and 20 percent polyurethane fibers now they've done their own abrasion and durability testing with this and have said that it is the same durability as full grain leather so i'm really looking forward to trying this out it also features a wide square toe with a double stitch welt but it does appear to be mainly cement construction because you can still see the remnants of some of the glue here. It comes in at 11 inches tall. It also features a one and a half inch composite stockman heel. And let's talk about that composite for a second because it is a EVA midsole, but it's made up of more than 50% sugarcane molasses. So this cuts down on the amount of plastic in their EVA midsoles, which is really interesting that they can use sugarcane molasses to substitute some plastics, but it's familiar territory for Twisted X. They're known for using these magical processes because they've also used rice husks in some of their outsole materials in the past. So they have some pretty magical processes that nobody else is doing. The inside of the midsole has their cell stretch comfort system, and I saw it at Wessa. There's these blue spheres at the heel, the arch, and the ball of the foot, which are made to focus on 100 individual pressure points, they say, unique to each wearer's foot. You can also see the nylon glass fiber shank in this picture, too. For an outsole, we have a rubber outsole, which I always like to see up here in the Northeast, and a cell stretch window where you can see those blue spheres. <laughs> On the inside, we have a mesh lined top and a cloth lined foot. You also have a little seam guard there that's stitched to help protect your leg from that seam. As an insole, we got a removable foam insole, which feels pretty thick around the heel and it feels nice. So in addition to that cell stretch stuff that's in the midsole, I'm really looking forward to seeing how comfortable this boot can be. The Twisted X Tech X line is made in China and it's coming in at $204.95 from many online retailers. Now it's time to try this boot on to see how it looks and feels. All right, I got the Twisted X Tech X boots on right now. And the first thing that comes to mind is how light they are. Really, really light. Uh, the leather, that leather Twix, you know, I can't really tell a difference right now. We'll have to see how it breaks in. They did say that you can use the exact same leather conditioners that you would on a cowhide and that you would need to do that. It, uh, it still has all of the same effects and qualities of leather so they can dry out and crack. For the fit, this time I chose a size 11D 
and a lot of Ariat boots I'll have to size down a half a size and I was afraid of doing that here and I remember trying some Twisted X boots on the road last year when I was on the Hondo tour and I remember them fitting just a little bit more true than Ariat does. So in Ariat I'm a 10 and a half and I chose the 11 here and it fits perfect. So if you're coming from Ariat you might want to size up a half a size. If not, you might just want to go with your true size. Just standing here, I might be noticing the cushion a little bit more, but you always notice the cushion when you're in them for hours. So we'll have to see about that. I am liking how it's feeling so far, especially with how lightweight it is, how much cushion is in there. Here's the POV, it has that square toe. I'm liking that gray color. I don't have any boots this color, so it's very different for me. Uh, and I don't mind it at all. I do wish that they had other toe shapes in their Tech X line. I mean, they got six different styles. All of them feature the wide square toe with a double stitch welt. I would have loved to see a round toe and maybe a narrow square toe option as well but maybe that will be something that they do in the future all right now it's time to put these to work see what they're like after wearing them for an extended period of time if you're interested in the giveaway you'll have to wait until the end right now it's extended test time it was time to test out the comfort of these Tech X boots with a little yard work and in doing so another goal was to see how the leather Twix held up Time to start by pulling some dandelions. Kneeling down and bending my foot gives me a good feel for how supple the leather is on a boot. And as I did this with the leather Twix material, it felt similar to how regular leather feels when it's already broken in. There is virtually no break-in time with these boots. Then it was time to mow this tall grass. Mowing is obviously not a strenuous thing for boots, but they sure kept my feet comfy and cool in the sun. With the yard mowed, it was time to get back on my feet and do some weed whacking. I've always liked doing this type of work in boots just to protect my feet a little bit more. I never really trusted sneakers. Plus, many times the sneakers would stain from the grass, but I wasn't having that problem with these gray boots. Also, it was nice to have the cushion of the cell stretch. I've been on buildings and grounds crews where I've weed whacked all day long, and doing this now makes me wish they had these boots back then. My curiosity got the better of me at one point, and I decided to do my own abrasion testing and run the string of the weed whacker into the leather twigs. <laughs> I got a little mark on that last part, but it wasn't even really scratched, as here's what it looks like now. No gouge, no nothing. I definitely wouldn't mind doing more yard work in these Tech X boots in the future. All right guys, so in addition to the mowing and landscaping that I did at my brother's house, I also moved from Boston to Ithaca in these boots. That includes loading up the U-Haul, unloading the U-Haul, and everything that goes into moving. And all together, I racked up around 110,794 steps in these boots over the past month, which has given me a nice little insight into what these boots are all about. My biggest takeaway about these Tech X boots from Twisted X is that they are more like a sneaker than any other boot that I've ever tried. It seriously feels like a New Balance, a Nike, Adidas, Reebok, athletic shoe, sneaker, tennis, whatever you want to call them, this 
is the boot that feels exactly like those. So if you're looking at some of those athletic shoes or sneakers kind of hesitantly because you don't like the looks of them but you like the comfort of them, this boot might be for you. Last year when I was at King's Ropes in Wyoming and I was upstairs in the boot department, there was another guy there looking at boots and he was a retired bull rider. And he was looking at boots with like crepe soles or a little bit more cushion because he got injured like many bull riders do. And he wanted something to wear at the rodeo that wouldn't get him laughed at uh, with a little bit more cushion. And after trying this, I think that this is that kind of boot where you have a lot of cushion, a lot of comfort, but it still has the Western style and the Western look to it. Plus this boot is pretty light when compared to other rubber sole cowboy boots. This is a size 11D and of course weight is going to depend on the size of the boot, but this comes in at about one pound and nine ounces which is around a half a pound lighter than other rubber sole cowboy boots out there on average. This is what I would consider like a mid-level work boot though. Anything that you guys would feel comfortable doing in like a New Balance or a Nike or something like that, and maybe take it a little bit further, I feel like these would be able to handle, but they wouldn't be able to handle a ton of hard work. Walking around and doing the weed whacking was great. Of course, mowing was easy and comfortable in these, uh, pulling weeds. So that type of work, this kind of boot is really well suited for. Plus, it's well suited for casual situations when you need to be walking a lot, regular chores, maybe even light hiking. It definitely has the feel of an athletic shoe like a New Balance. Their modern build will come with some drawbacks as other modern build cowboy boots do as well. So they may not be as repairable as traditionally made cowboy boots. So if anything happens to this outsole or this heel, it might cost more than what the boot is worth to get them repaired. And for that reason as well, they may not last as long as traditionally made cowboy boots. Since there is a lot of cloth and mesh in here, like sneakers have, they may start to stink more than traditionally made cowboy boots, similar to sneakers out there. And this definitely does have a little bit more odor than some of my all leather traditionally made cowboy boots. And there's also a little lip in here at the counter that my heel would get hung up on every time I tried to put this boot on. It's probably my biggest uh, criticism with this boot. As you can see here, there's just a little lip at that counter. There's about an eighth of an inch of material and every time I would put my heel in, I would get caught up on that material. I wish they sewed it up closer to the top of this heel counter or sort of skived it a little bit like they did with the heel slide so I could get my heel in there a little bit easier. And I would have to say that for build quality, that's my biggest criticism about this boot. So taking all that into account, this is not really a boot for those of you out there who prefer traditionally made cowboy boots. It hasn't won me over from my traditional boot preference, but I can see what they were going for here. These Tech X Twisted X boots are for folks out there who like the comfort of New Balance athletic shoes or Nikes, but also want more of a look of a boot and also has the features of a boot. So it looks like a boot's got the tall aspects, can be used in situations where you would want to use boots, but yet it feels like an athletic shoe, like a New Balance. I keep coming back to that, but really that is the biggest comparison that I can make about this boot to help you understand what it's all about. And really when it comes down to it, I feel like that's what Twisted X was going for with this boot and they hit it on the head. They really nailed it. And I think it's cool that they were able to do it with eco-friendly and sustainable methods. And if you're one of those folks out there who is interested in this kind of cowboy boot, well, you're in luck because you have a chance to win a brand new pair in your size. You gotta do three things to enter this giveaway. First, like this video. Second, make sure you're subscribed to my channel. And thirdly, fill out the form at the link in the description. I'm asking for your email and I have a couple other questions so I can contact you if you win. Then on Friday, June 24th, starting at 8 p.m. Eastern, I'll announce the winner on a Boots and Ballads live stream where I'll talk 
cowboy boots, play some music, and so much more. You won't want to miss it. Thank you so much for watching today. Be sure to enter the giveaway because entries close on June 24th at 3 p.m. Eastern before the Boots and Ballads live stream. Let me know what you think of these Twisted X boots down in the comments and I will see you on June 24th. Peace everybody, have a good one. Tech X is all about comfort. Feeling like those are new balance shoes. So if you're looking for that feeling without the look of a sneaker, that Tech X might be for you. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching today. The Boots and Ballads will take place at this video up here. Why don't you click on it and hit set reminder? Yeah. Or I got a music video down here I think you might enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Yeah. Peace.